Hey everyone, Hedgehog here, and we're back with another nighttime launch. Ugh, god damn it. Well, actually, maybe all I need to do is just, hang on, hang on, let's, oh, what's this? Lights. Check it out! I got, okay, I put projection towers on one side so we can actually see the rockets now. How cool is that? Um... Yeah, so actually this is intentionally a night launch because I just wanted to show off these towers. They're they're really cool and now we'll be able to launch at night without any issues. So, without further ado, let's just get right to it. Three, two, one, ignition. And lift off. Cool. So as you can see on the lower right, we have a Kerbal on a rocket how crazy is that so I wanted to send a oh and now we don't have lights anymore well we'll we'll get the back soon don't worry so um I wanted to send a probe to uh, Mars to Venus maybe and then I realized that I can't communicate with them still because my antennas aren't powerful enough so I went ahead and started upgrading the tracking station and that takes two years. Ugh. So in the meantime, I figured, well, I don't want to just fast forward those two years. Let's let's do something interesting. And well, that's that's what I did. I have a Kerbal on a rocket. So we're we're going for crude stuff. And we're coming up right now on a very major event. First Kerbal to cross into actual Karman space territory. The where the atmosphere is so thin you cannot provide any sort of lift using wing um, lifting body surfaces things maybe I don't have the exact definition right next to me right now but I think you all know what I'm talking about anyway we're, we're still going so 18 contracts completed and we're not done yet no no not quite yet um, this little Kerbal Ronald Ronald Banks is going to go into space in just a couple of seconds. And boom, you're in space, buddy. Nice. Awesome. This is the first time a Kerbal has been on a rocket. And this is a modified Kushina 1, which we know is a low Earth orbit capable rocket. It's very powerful for low Earth orbit. And it's definitely powerful enough to put a single mercury capsule in space. Okay, so as you can see, I don't have enough avionics to control it just yet, but you might have noticed that uh, I can control 5 tons, and I've got like 5 tons and 19 kilos. So, not really a problem. I'm just going to fire the stage, and about a second or two after I do, uh, it's going to be controlled. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. I need some RCS in this. Why can't I? RCS in this. Do it. Enable. It's enabled. Why can't I? Hold on. Oh, this is bad. Okay, so I did a little digging and I realized that the problem was the avionics that I talked about before. Um, I'm such a dummy. Um, apparently you can't toggle RCS when you don't have control of avionics. That makes perfect sense, and I'm not sure why I thought otherwise. Um, anyway, that was super silly, so I just uh, lost that stage and deorbited the capsule here. Oh, well, would have been called deorbiting, except I wasn't in orbit, it was a suborbital trajectory. So, I just staged it. Fire the retro um, rocket, and then I have a little retro pack in the capsule. Dumped it, and splashed down in the water. That's it. Super simple. There's nothing complicated here. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it better this time. I promise. Okay, so I got... What, um... Two and a half sides out of this mission. Yeah, that's not a lot. I did get... I got about 100,000 funds off of uh, things that happened and Ronald got an experience point okay yeah let's um okay and we're back and the lights are still on from last time so let's turn them off we don't need them right now 
Cool. So, all right, so we're back. It's the same craft almost. I made a slight little modification so that we wouldn't get the same craft as last time. Oh, I missed this deadline. Oh, well, never mind. Um, yeah, so last time I was unable to start RCS and it caused me to be unable to start the upper stage and I failed to make orbit and it sucked so much, but I'm cool, I'm cool, that's cool. These things happen, not upset at all. I'm just gonna do it again. This time I have a light, Elisa, Ishutina, sure, whatever. Um, she's, she's a scientist and she's gonna fly this mission. All right. Here we go. All right, so you've just seen a launch profile that was exactly the same as this. Nearly the same craft, it's the same crew type, it's the same thing. I'm not gonna bore you, I'm speeding this along 12 times regular speed. Let's just get right down to the interesting bits, the things that are a little different, and we're gonna make this work. Okay, flawless. So now I can turn RCS on and off. I don't have SAS anymore because um, it's Eliza, Elisa, Al Alicia, Al Aliza, Eliza. I I don't know. I I don't know how to pronounce that name. It, I don't know. Write in the comments. Tell me how to pronounce her name. It's it's beyond me. Um, yeah, but I do have. Check this out. There we go. Kill rotation. The flight computer is here for me. So maybe let's just do. Um. Yeah. Okay. We can do that. Okay. Um. So let's engage. Okay. So another long burn. Uh, these are just the bread and butter of. You know, RSS. It's a very big Earth. You gotta go very fast. You don't need to sit here and watch this in real time. I'm speeding this up 12 times. And boom! Orbit! Now we're just pushing the FWAPs up. See how far we can push it. Ooh, nearly a thousand kilometers. So 900 kilometers up. That that's the number, that's the going rate for uh, for orbital um, history here. Yeah, this is the first Kerbal to make orbit. How cool is that? Let's uh, ditch the stage. Don't need it. Actually, that was a bad move because I have a little bit of life support on that stage. Um, let's see how am I doing in terms of life support. So, oh, actually, I'm fine. All the life support is in the capsule. Great. So in terms of electricity, infinity, that's okay, a little weird, I guess, but sure. Uh, oxygen, one day and 12 hours, water, one day, food, one day. So basically, we don't want to spend more than a day out in space. So I think we'll do a few orbits, and then we'll kind of try to to hit uh, back at the cape, around the cape. Yeah, let's um, let's orbit a bit. How cool is this? First Kerbal in space. Let's see if we can get some science out of this. And science was had indeed. So I spent a couple of orbits. I think maybe four orbits. Um, just you know, flying around, grabbing all the reports that I could, uh, getting some data, transmitting it right away, didn't want to hold on to it in the capsule, and this was pretty cool, you know, catching the sights, looking around, and just being super happy with the first crewed successful orbit. So, just to show you, this um, retro booster pack is really powerful, I'm going to do it at periaps. So, flight computer, take me to retrograde. We're going to turn RCS on and back off because we don't have a whole lot of it. And let's just engage the boosters. Still, you know, almost 16 hours of uh, supplies left, so we're good. So as you can see, this uh, retro pack is, is pretty powerful. It's taking me down. Uh-oh. Wait, 
Is it going to take me down enough? Hmm. Ooh, this is bad news. Oh, I was too arrogant. Oh, the hubris. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, no, what have I done? What have I done? First girl in space. And she's going to die? Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. So I'm sitting here at Mission Control, and we've just discovered that our idiot, idiot, godlike being that's playing with us like her freaking game has doomed one of our crew. Um, Eliza, Eliza, Ali, Alicia, I, I, damn it, I can't even say her name right, and she's going to die. Yeah, she's right here. She doesn't have enough life support to live until I get a rocket up there and she's gonna die so would the nice thing to do be to just terminate her we have range safety on these things we can explode the capsule would that be better than letting her starve and then run out of oxygen in a tiny little capsule in space I'm not gonna do anything right now I'm gonna let you guys decide please comment and let me know what I should do with this Kerbal. Should should we give her a, a few more hours to live and then terminate her? Should we just terminate her now? Should we just keep her there as a monument, as a re constant reminder to not be such an idiot? Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And, and yeah, I'll, I'll do that, I guess. All right, so uh, I, I can't play this anymore. I'm, I'm too stressed out. I'll catch you in the next one.